The, the thing about keeping a training log is uh, you don't want it to you don't want it to limit you. You want it to facilitate your progress. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm John and today I'm gonna show you my workout plan. It's kind of like a business plan. Have If you've ever started a business or thought about starting a business, the first thing they're gonna tell you is to write a business plan. As far as I'm concerned, a workout plan is every bit as important. I've always kept a training log uh, ever since I first started lifting. Uh, so that's been like a good 40 years or so almost <laughs> and uh so today i'm just gonna show you what i what i ha what i do <laughs> here you go just to show you what i mean this is uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there's 16 uh, notebooks right here. That's not even all of them in my whole life. Um, a lot of them got lost somewhere along the way. Okay, I have uh, four main workouts and I number each one. One, two, three, four. Okay? And then it repeats one. So this is um, the exact same thing as this number one and as um, if you I, I call this a weightlifting notebook but uh, other people call it a training journal or a, a training a training log and I write the date I write my body weight I write the number of the workout one two three four I don't I don't use a Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday because if for some reason you miss a Monday, um, how are you supposed to do your Monday workout on Tuesday? If it's on a num, if it's a, if you go by numbers, um, you can do that any day of the week. Okay, that's so that's why I do that. Um, I train at two different gyms, so I write the name of the gym up here in the top right corner. So this is Cubex, and then I go to Snap Fitness too. So. So this is the location of the gym. WP, that stands for workout pace. And um, for, uh, for my main exercises, what I would, which, which would be the bench press, I do a, a, a one set every five minutes. So this is uh, five minutes to five minutes to five minutes. There's nine sets here. So that takes 45 minutes. And uh, then after I do the bench press, I uh, change the workout pace to doing a set every two and a half minutes. So I do that to here with the chest and, and uh, military press and then the, the smaller uh, muscle groups, I change it to a workout pace of 2.0, which is two minutes. And then so uh, you can change the workout pace throughout the workout. Um, basically, um, and I use a three and a half or a three by five, I think it's a three by five inch notebook because I like to be able to put it in my pocket. And uh, plus if, I think if I used a bigger notebook, I would uh, stay in the gym way too long. This kind of, keeps me at a reasonable uh, amount of time. So I have three, three main workouts. And then the fourth workout is like a, okay, the, yeah, the fourth workout is d d doing uh, extra stuff. And so like if for some reason I was really busy one week, I could just do the, the three main workouts and skip the fourth. And I actually have a fifth workout too that I do right here. It's another leg workout. 
Um, I had to quit doing squats because of uh, hip hip problems, and uh, so in, um, I'm I'm basically doing three light leg, or one of them's kind of heavier, and then two light uh, workouts for my legs. So I'm training legs three days a week. The just to tell you the so I write the I write small and uh, these numbers up here th those are of the pins, um, basically the settings, um, like the leg press number nine that I put it in the number nine pin and like the the workout I just did just now like the. 512 that's for the pin adjustments for the seed and for the the leg curl apparatus thing and I usually go from top to bottom so five is the highest pin or I don't know but I I know what it means and it uh it works for me so and the the thing about keeping a training log is uh you don't want it to you don't want it to limit you. You want it to facilitate your progress. So, basically what I'm saying is nothing is written in stone. And um, see like here, I, uh, I decided to do the leg press before the hyperextension. And so I put those, those arrows there. So then next time I'll, I'll know that I, that's what I did. And then I moved the, the abdominal exercises to the end. And uh, so yeah, this isn't written in stone. And another, another thing I, I'll do, uh, okay, this is my bench press. I'm at two, 265 pounds now. And I did, for the first set I did four, the second set I did three. The third set I did four, the fourth set I did four, the fifth set I did five. Okay? And I'm gonna work up until I get five set until I do five sets of six. Once I get five sets of six, so it'll be six, 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 six. I'll I'll add five pounds and do it uh at two seventy pounds. I'll probably drop the reps down to three or four. So it's easy and then work back up to six and then add five pounds. That's what I'm doing right now. And that's what's working for me. So I'll keep doing it as long as it works for me. Um, so here the, the, let's see, I'll just show you basically. So the, Number one is leg is uh the bench press day. That's the main exercise. Do the main exercise first. So then some incline dumbbell bench presses and then dips. And then it's on to shoulders with the military press and side laterals and triceps pull down and triceps pu push down. I'm having problems with my uh, elbow tendonitis stuff so I'm going uh, really light and uh, then I do calves and abs and this right here is actually my third or an extra leg workout that I do and I do it after after my chest workout basically it could be a I could go back in the afternoon and do it but I I drink a protein shake while I'm at the gym. So I I think it's working out for me good. So then the number two workout is um back, biceps, forearms, calves and abs. Okay, and I won't go down and tell you all the exercises, but that's what it is. And then the number three workout 
is legs. This is my main leg workout. I do, a, like, like I said, I don't do squats anymore. Hopefully I'll be able to do them again someday, but who knows. So leg press, leg curl, leg extension, 45 degree back raises. And then I, I do all this uh, stuff with the cables uh, for my hips, since I have hip problems. The uh, physical therapist told me that, that they were good and I believe it. So then the... Then I do uh, calf, calves, 10 sets of calf raises, and then uh, abdominals at the end. I'm, I just started using the, this abdominal crunch machine, do five sets of 10. And then for the fourth workout, which I haven't done this week yet, it's... Uh, Reverse grip bench presses, and then this, this is kind of like a bench press machine, sort of. And that's flat bench, and that's incline bench. And then, so basically more, more uh, chest and uh, triceps, I, dumbbell kick, kickbacks, supersetted with dumbbell pullovers. And I'm using a really light weight. Like I said, I have problems with my elbow. When I put this, uh, care, I, I think it's a, I don't know what, what it's called, but uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, that means it's a superset. Okay. And then I do a little bit of shoulders. And... Side, so side laterals, front raises, and then dumbbell flies. And this is a really light weight, and I concentrate on the squeezing, t squeezing your pecs together at the top. Then I do Zotman curls. I just started those. Like I said, uh, I, well, uh, yeah, you, I, like you can see, I, I use a really light weight, and um, it's uh, because well because I've just started doing them. Um, whenever I start a new exercise, I usually start out uh, really, really light and gradually work up. That way you'll get the benefit of of uh, progressing in weight without um, risking injuring yourself. And then more calf raises and ab, ra or ab crunches. And uh, the actual uh, fifth workout that I have, and I don't have a separate page for it yet, um, because uh, there's enough room I can write it here. So I've just been writing it here. If it gets to be longer than what I can fit in this space, I'll have to start a fifth page. But uh, it's Romanian deadlifts, more leg extensions and leg press, and then lat pull downs. And this is a light, really light lat pull down day for me. And it's just three sets. And uh, that, that pretty much uh, covers the basics. But that's all for now. Hopefully you'll uh, subscribe and like this video. Thank you. Goodbye.